Afternoon, Isabel. Hi, Rick. Isabel, you and I had a really interesting meeting this morning about a fantastic opportunity for a business intelligence specialist. Now, can you tell our viewers more about this role? I certainly can, Rick. Um, it's a really exciting role, and I'm very enthusiastic about it. It's a Greenfields role. There's never been anyone um, leading the organisation in the BI space before. They've got an absolutely enormous amount of data, you have no idea, and they just need it to make some sense. And so that's why they need a BI person. That's one of the simple reasons why they need a BI person. So if that's you, you'd be the person who'd be setting up and running the strategic roadmaps, you'd be the enthusiast who makes the business intelligence side of the operation actually happen. It's an opportunity to make a huge difference to a large organisation and harness the available information. You'll be someone who can see the big picture and it's just going to be an all-round fantastic challenge for the right person, right? I'm just so excited about it. That's great. Thanks, Isabel. Now, just to summarise, uh, this organisation is, is strong on information management, strategy and governance. So we're looking for a BI specialist who can come in and set up this key cornerstone of the organisation's EIM plan. That's right. Um, so in addition to being strong and, and business intelligent, uh, what are some of the softer skills we're looking for? Well, Rick, uh, it's very clear from our conversation this morning that soft skills are a very important aspect. And they include the ability to provide leadership in the BI area and, and we're not talking about um, managing a team on a day-to-day -day basis. We're talking about being the, um, the technical expert, the person who has the knowledge, the person who can give the steer to the organisation, who's got that big picture view. That's the kind of um, leadership I'm talking about. Um, also, obviously, because you're an influencer, you have fantastic relationship management skills. That's absolutely critical. So by this we're talking about, you're not, not just that you get on well with people, but you're a good listener. You can think about what are other people's problems that they need to solve. Go away and come, back, come up with some solutions. So you're, you're there to make VI work for the people in the organisation. You, we said several times you can see the big picture, you can understand how the different pieces fit together in the overall enterprise information management system in this organisation, of which BI is a critical part. Um, and of course you're going to have damn good communication skills because you're around all over the place talking to people, explaining the benefit of BI, what it can do for them, how it can make their lives easier, how it can add value to their decision-making processes, and so on. So um, those are just some of the soft skills, Rick. Does that help? That's great. Thanks. Now, at this morning's meeting, I saw this as a pivotal role for the organisation. Would you agree with that? Oh, absolutely, Rick, 100%. And that's one of the reasons why I'm enthusiastic about this position. It's, it's just so important. And if you're the person who takes up this role, in a few years' time you can look back and go, I really made a difference. This is what I've done in this organisation. But once you've set up the in-house business intelligence structures, it's much bigger than that. Um, the client is a key player in a, in a large um, area of industry, if, if you call it an industry, I suppose it is. And um, you can have an influence across a variety of organisations that will look to you for leadership, for their business intelligence. and. It's just absolutely pivotal, and so you'll be a leader not just for the organisation you're working in, but also for the whole sector. So you'll be so busy with more and more exciting challenges for years to come. If you take up this role, you, you just won't get bored. That sounds like a fantastic opportunity. Thanks, Isabel. So what do people do if they would like to apply? Well, in the first instance, um, Rick, uh, it'd be great if they could um, send a CV and, and ideally a cover letter. So um, we've got rick at placerecruitment.co.nz. 
so 495-7939. Or if you're feeling a little unsaid and want to have a chat, you could ring me on 495-7933 um, and I'll have a chat with you as well. Um, but please, please be really quick because we've got a very short window to get this well placed. And so the sooner we hear from you, the better we'd just like to get to work and, and make a difference um, to you. And the other thing I'd just like to say, well, the organisation has a rough picture of uh, how they want to employ this permanent person and ideally it would be in a permanent role. They have said to us this role is so important to them that if there's someone who's in a, a once particular way of being employed, then you and I could talk about it, we could look at a business case and putting it together and just see if it will fly. So don't be afraid to come and have a chat about maybe even something that seems a bit off the wall, but let's talk yeah. if you're the right person. That's great. I'm looking forward to working on this as well. Thanks. That's going to be great, isn't it, Rick? That's great. Thank you very much. Thanks.